quick sampler is a trimmed down version of Logic Pro X's new sampler, the long awaited software sampler to finally replace Logic Pro X's previous generation EXS24. Quick Sampler brings the most important elements of Logic Pro X's next gen sample tech into a streamlined software instrument plugin. It can run like any other software instrument, carrying its very own set of sample based instrument presets via Apple's usual included collection of instrument settings, as well as being fully integrated throughout Logic Pro X. Quick Sampler can be inserted into the instrument slot on your software instrument tracks and used like any other software instrument in your library. You can drag and drop audio clips directly onto the Quick Sampler's interface to create an immediate sampler instrument in seconds. This includes from the loop browser in Logic Pro X, directly from the finder on your computer, including all of the iPhone audio files accessible there, or even as an audio region already sitting on the timeline in your Logic Pro X project. So let's take a look at some of the most important elements of Quick Sampler when first getting started. When creating a Quick Sampler instrument, you now have the choice between two options, original or optimized. Both options pop up as floating drop points in the interface or the track header when dragging in your sample. Once you have dropped your sample onto Quick Sampler, you can flip back and forth between one of three sample modes at any time. The fourth option is a record option. I'm going to begin by dragging in a piano recording I did earlier on on my iPhone. So it was recorded using binaural microphones into my voice memos on my iPhone and it's appeared now synced to my Mac here and I've just dragged it onto the desktop. It's called Greg's 11 because I live by a Greg's. So it's picked up Greg's as the location, but it's me playing. So I play an octave on the piano, just like that, just as you would if you were sampling an instrument. And I'm just going to drag it in to the samplers, uh, quick samplers interface. And I'm going to go to optimized and drop it in the optimized window. So classic mode is the choice for when you want to pitch an audio clip across your keyboard and then program melodies and new musical parts with it. The sampler playback stops when you let go of the key. So let's just press a key. And you can hear that pitching. Next, let's try one shot. So one shot is great for when you just want to trigger an audio file and have it play all the way through its duration when you strike a key. So I'm releasing the key now and it's continuing to play. But for this particular example, I'm going to use the slice option. So slice, as the name suggests, will slice up your audio clip into pieces so that you can rearrange it or implement into a larger, you know, file. So I'm going to select slice and I'm just going to move this sensitivity down and you'll see as I drop it down, I decrease the amount of slice points which uh, are being set because it's the transient that we're analyzing so that we can see that the beginning of each note has a slice point. And we can also see that the start key for the first note is C1. And if we click here, we can change that if for whatever reason it's not correct. And it will go through that chromatically as I played it, but I can select white keys or black keys only. So it's starting on C1. So uh, let me just... Not quite right on the keyboard, but I can always pitch it. But you can hear that when I click release, it'll play that sample. Up here on the top right, we have a snap function. 
including zero crossing, transient and note and beat. Here we have the recognizable zoom functions, recognizable from Logic's own interface. And then here this cog wheel contains a number of additional functions. Uh, one which might be very useful for those of you sampling drum kits. So, you know, sometimes quite often if we're recording a drum kit, we might sample it just in case we need to trigger samples. So there's a nice function here where we can create drum machine uh, designer track. We click that and what that will do is splice the sample and then put it into drum ma machine designer as cells. So we can trigger each cell as we would normally when using the drum machine designer. The lower section houses the synthesizer, sound shaping controls and modulation matrix. The filter section you might recognize from the ESX24 with cutoff, resonance, drive, envelope depth and key scale, as well as these different filters available, low pass, band pass, high pass and other. Over to the bottom left we have LFO1, LFO2 and modulation matrix. If you want to know more about LFOs, please watch my video on synthesis with the ES2. And let's just give this a quick go. So synchronized LFO and we'll assign that to the filter cutoff here. And we'll make it a square wave. And we'll make it quite obvious. Can you see that changing? to indicate the zone. There we go. You can hear that working away. And we can assign the target to anything, resonance even. And of course, then you can also engage second low frequency oscillator and the modulation matrix. There's a, an amplifier over here. You can pan, change the polyphony and volume. And down here we have some envelope generation. So I think that's enough to get you started. Have fun. And of course, don't forget, you can always record in your own audio here by selecting an input and then pressing record. And as you can see, I'm recording my voice at the moment. I think that'll do. Of course, you can slice it and splice it. Board, board, board. There you go. Hours of fun.